Justin and I were talking about some of the major cultural differences that we have seen between Southern California and Southern France. So we are going to point out a few, there's probably a lot more, but the first one I would point out is that age really doesn't separate friendships. There's like a little restaurant bar down the street and there's a 75 year old hanging out alone with like a 20 year old and they're just talking and they're buddies and, yeah, and it's not weird it's not no it's not weird <laughs> no but but you would never really you know you in in the states and in, in cali that we've seen you know pre pretty much everybody has their their group of friends and they're all around the same age whereas here it, it could be anybody babe you noticed that our kids are basically better or better behaved since they've been here and that obviously is in part on how we're raising them no <laughs> but it's um in part by their influences and peer pressure or you know whatever the, their peers are doing um when a kid knocks at your door enters your door they look at you in your eye they say hi to you they greet you they usually say monsieur madame and they give you the vouvoiement so if you don't know how the polite form is you can watch this video to learn about the the polite form vous and that that's something that was definitely lacking in Southern California. And it's great to see that our kids are definitely doing those things. I mean, it's hard because we, we've tried to teach them in, in every way possible to, to be the most polite and stuff, and which is what we hear from, from other parents in Cali, um, where they've stayed the night at a friend's house. Or it, it, it's like the, the kids police the kids. You know, we've seen the kids here and our kids will do something crazy or say something that's not within the culture that they know in France. And the kids will be like, what are you doing? Why are you talking to your mom that way? Or something like that. So it's really refreshing to have their friends come over and they're just little polite angels that are, you know, are not going in our fridge and all that stuff. Yeah, true. And they eat anything. Like when we cook a meal, <clears throat> they eat whatever's in front of them without complaining. That's really refreshing. We talk to them like they're adults. We don't use baby language. We, we, you know, any adult will talk to their kid at whatever age, like an adult. Mm -hmm. There's no little difference in, in tonality or anything. And they speak to them in a very, very mature way. You feel like it's more, and I feel too, of course, that it's more community-based, that um, even living as long as we did in Southern California, knowing so many people, it wasn't as community-based. Like, what, what do you and mean? less busy, which has a lot to do with it. You know, everybody has their lives and everybody's busy and there's always a reason for that. And then, then you know, that's there's there's nothing wrong with that. Um, but here it's just a little bit slower of a pace. And the difference be the, between what we saw when we moved from Southern California, when we asked every single one of our friends and almost nobody came through um, to help us out, uh, the only people that really came through to help us out were older mm -hmm. from, an old, from an older generation that was most likely in that culture from pre previous times. Mm -hmm. um, so that was the difference there. And then coming here, we had how many people? I don't be, know, 20, people, 20, 20 no, we, we almost knew nobody, but they just knew of us and they knew that we were coming in and we were moving and 20 ish people showed up and they unloaded our 20 foot container in less than an hour and everything was there's people in our house putting together furniture and it was it was insane it was such a amazing greeting uh, we are christian we believe in god it's really interesting kind of seeing the differences between france and the states in reference to religion or just christianity in general i feel like in southern california especially but also just in america in general from the 20 years that i lived there it is so much part of the culture, which is amazing because it's very natural to talk about God. Everybody goes to church or is part of a church or it's very normal. So that's a cool thing. In France, it's more of a hush hush. The people won't talk about it as openly. So there's a lot of history that, especially in Southern France with the history of the Huguenots, which you can look up, um, that dictates why it's less uh, common to talk about God and, and Christianity. So that is something that we have noticed, but us being us, we talk about it fairly openly and uh, people are very interested. And once we open up and we say, oh yes, well, you know, we believe in God, we're Christian, people voice out the same thing, but they wouldn't have necessarily said it had we not said it first. Mm. So one thing that I recall about over 18 years now, when we got together, 
got married. <laughs> yeah. uh, you loved the fact that my family and what I instilled when we got married was that we ate together every meal and that just is what it is. And that especially night times, dinners, we eat together and you know, when we're able to we eat lunch together. And what you've noticed here culturally is that uh, the French feel like lunch is so important that they will stop whatever they're doing to take lunch. Nobody and eats in their car. Nobody eats in their car, that's true. I got almost used to eating in the car in California. In France, even if you're taking a uh, road trip, you will stop and find the air, which is like a little area so that you can go and find, you know, like a picnic table or a little area to stop. And you will either bring your lunch or dinner or you will buy something. And there is even the uh, gas stations have pretty decent food. Uh, yeah. It's it, gas know. stations, airports. It's all pretty much the same price. All really good food. And and Chipotle, we like that place a lot. So uh, not Chipotle. <laughs> Chipotle. <laughs> and so uh, they all will stop and find a picnic table and eat together. So do you remember when you and I would take little walks in the neighborhood? And especially when we first moved in the house in California, but then even throughout the years. And we would meet new neighbors and would be so excited because you could just strike up a conversation right away and you felt like they were your best friend from day one. Yeah. But then you scratched the, hype, the surface. The, the hype and excitement, yeah. Yeah. And then you scratch the surface and you can't really have an in-depth conversation. And when you do or you try to or you open up about your life and it's not as beautiful and then they you're don't just know real. What to do. You're just being real, and they're like, "Uh, what do you mean you're being real about your life? Really, your life you, sucks sometimes." You guys argue. <laughs> so that's something that's a little different versus here. And you got to meet some of my childhood friends, of course, but also you've made your own friends throughout the years that we would, would come. And then now living here, you feel like some friendships obviously are different. Yeah, I mean, obviously, disclaimer: we're talking about our experience from Southern California. To southern France, which is a big difference. Um, it's a, I think it's a bigger difference um, from Southern California to a lot of other parts of the country in the U.S., um, which have different cultures and different people. So, if you're watching this and it's maybe not what you have an experience with, that's unfortunate for us. But it's fortunate for you guys um, that you can be in the states and you can find um, the quality of friends and the types of things in your culture that are that are really great, um, like what what's here in southern France. Um, but what I've noticed is it takes a lot longer. If I feel like here in France, they're more suspicious. Um, like, what's, what are these guys' motive? You know, they're coming in with smiles on their face and they're from California and, you know, they want to be our friends. Like, that's just weird. Like, I have my own group of friends and why? You know, they always, they're always like introspective. Like, why, 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 why? What does this mean? But after you kind of break the, surf the surface, um, you realize that there's a really... Uh, amazing person under that surface of questions and intellectualism uh, and you're gonna make a friend for life and they are amazing people um, they can be uh, a little standoffish like for instance I have a friend here that I'm just starting to break the surface of and it's what like almost a year later so for me I'm thinking to myself I'm kind of hurt like I'm kind of over it I'm burnt out from trying with this person um, we have so much in common. I don't see what, what the big deal is. And, uh, you know, I wasn't getting responses or I was, you know, whatever it was. Um, and so now I'm breaking the surface and, and this person's like amazing. And it's a lot different when it's somebody that you meet through work or it's somebody that you meet through someone else. Meaning like if you meet a friend and they introduce you to another friend, they won't necessarily have all that. But sure. when you meet somebody that you don't have anybody in common with, you don't work together, you don't really, you just happen to meet through the kid's school or through whatever right, it is. Right. Like the kids meet yeah. a friend from school and then they want uh, they want to go over to their house and so we meet the parents kind of a thing and then, you know, it's kind of like that type of a introduction. Those are definitely some good cultural differences. If you have more questions about some of the differences that we've seen, Please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thank you for being part of our community. <laughs> See you guys.